In this video, I'm gonna show you some basics for using the pencil tool on Illustrator for the iPad. And this is such a great tool in Illustrator on the desktop, but it's really great inside Illustrator on the iPad. So just to get oriented, in my color options, you can see I have the stroke set to this blue color and the fill set to none. And you can see the red slash, just like in Illustrator on the desktop. So you set colors just by clicking on the one that you want, and then you have this whole interface here where you can choose colors. You can also swap the fill and the stroke, and then you see I have a solid blue shape with no stroke. And I'll tap this again to go back to the blue stroke with no fill. Now, as you can see, we've lost the original thickness of that stroke. So I'm gonna to go to the selection tool, and underneath we see all of these options here, and one is for the stroke weight. So I can just dial up the stroke weight again like this. So the options in this bar here change depending on whether you select it with the selection tool, which treats this as a whole shape or a whole object, or if you select it with the direct selection tool, then you gain access to all the anchor points and these corner widgets that let you round the corners and then you can go in and work with the individual curve handles. And we'll look at these options more in a minute. For now, I'm just gonna get the selection tool, hit the trash icon and delete that shape. Now let's draw with the pencil tool. So I'll get the pencil tool and when you drag, you can draw curves and when you tap, you can draw straight segments. You can control the smoothness by using this slider here. So right now I have a smoothing set to six. If I turn this down to zero, we can see it's definitely a more wobbly line. It really accurately follows my movements on the tablet. I'm gonna go ahead and delete all of this here with the selection tool. Go back to the pencil tool and with the smoothing turned all the way up to 10, you can see it gives you smooth curves, but it's a little difficult to control. So again, I'll delete that, and I'm going to get the pencil tool and set this back to about six. I think that's a nice happy medium. Now again, you just drag to create these curves, and then when you wanna add straight segments, you just tap like so. So what if you stop drawing? Let me get the pencil tool again and I'll just draw a curve here. And now I'm gonna tap to add some straight segments onto that. And then if I start drawing another line, it's a completely separate line. I'll undo that. If I wanna connect onto the line that I've just drawn, I need to tap on that point and just keep going. And then I can close it by coming close to the starting point. Now, when you zoom in and you get the direct selection tool, you can take a look at how that join works. And it actually is a nice smooth point there. Let me go over to this one right here and see how this join worked. And that's good too. So it's always good to be able to zoom in and sort of look at how the joins that you do happen. Sometimes you might need to go back and do a little editing. Now notice in this line, the smooth points are indicated by round anchors and the corner points are indicated by square anchors. So right here's a square anchor. I even have a corner widget here that I can work with. Here is a corner point that has a curve handle on one side of it. So those are two kinds of corner points. And then here is a smooth anchor point and you can tell those by their handles that work together like a seesaw. So when you have the direct selection tool selected, you have some editing options here. And when I just select a point, if it's a smooth point, I can convert it to a corner point by clicking on the little corner point option. I'll undo that. If I click on a corner point, I can convert it to a smooth point by clicking on the smooth point icon and now I have a smooth point. You can do the same thing with the direct selection tool just by double tapping on an anchor point. So there I've changed it to a corner point. I'll undo that. 
And you can also take that corner point, double tap and change it back into a smooth point. Now that we know something about corner points and smooth points, let's draw a bit more with the pencil tool. Another thing that you can do when you're drawing with the pencil tool is just pause for a second. You'll see a little blue highlight light up and then you can change the direction of your curve. And I'll delete this and let's do that again. So just draw, pause, and then you've changed the direction of your curve and you can make these nice little wave shapes like this. Now, if you wanna control the way these corners work, just go over to the properties panel and right here under the stroke weight, you see these three options for the different kinds of corners. So right now we have this sort of beveled blunt edge corner, then we have a rounded corner, and then we can have a pointed corner like that. And I'll close the properties panel. So that's drawing and pausing with the pencil tool. So we've done drawing and tapping and drawing and pausing to change curve direction. Now let's check out using the touch shortcuts with the pencil tool. And this is like using the modifier keys on your keyboard. So right here is the touch shortcut. It has an inner ring. And then when you drag out, it has an outer ring. So it's kind of a two stage shortcut. When I use the primary, the first one in the center, I can use the pencil tool to draw lines in perfect 90 degree angles to each other and also 45 degree angles. Okay, I'll delete all of this with the selection tool. And then when you use the pencil tool with the outer ring, you can draw a straight line and change the angle of it as you draw. And I'll delete these. So I can use that outer ring to draw a triangle like this. So those are just a few ways of using the pencil tool in Adobe Illustrator on the iPad. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and in another tutorial, I'll be talking about how to edit the lines that you draw with the pencil tool. So be sure to subscribe and you'll know the moment that tutorial is available. I'm Laura Coyle. Thanks for watching.